for now, best Ness and Chazo. Oh, he is going. I told plant. you, he's, he's going plan. Well, I mean, I saw him using Ness a lot in the bracket today. Like, I'm pretty sure he used he 3 0 Wadi with uh, Ness. But, alright, so for this matchup, even though I've seen him destroy Steve with Ness, he's going plant. He's back on the plant. Yes. I've never seen this matchup in my life. I don't even know. I can't even begin to tell you <laughs> what plant or Steve is Ooh. supposed to do here. I was these are two of the well, most these are two of the most goofy characters in this game fighting each other right now. Honestly, you are most definitely right. These are two characters I would have never imagined in Ultimate or in a Smash game ever. But uh, here we are, man. 2021 brings some wild things and it's Best Ness against Chazo, and Chazo is so far taking stage control here. Setting up the TNT, and Best Ness knows he's got to watch his landing here because he's immediately able to cross up Chazo, not get anything, but finally get the forward smash and kind of take some center stage control. Look at the patience here. He's looking for the landing here because he knows what Chazo is also looking for as well. Best Ness with a little bit of patience. I think he knows, like, he has some range when he uses pot. Oh, uh, and immediately, I'm sorry, long stem. There you go, that's the proper name here. He knows he's got range when he uses long stem, and so far he's been pretty close to hitting Chaza. That's gonna be an up throw? Yeah, not it just yet. 114, but that will be the Patui to actually take the stock, and that stops Chaza never... on the landing. Oh, okay, he's living. I forgot Player on Plants actually really heavy. And his up B actually has almost no landing lag, so you're gonna see Best Nest actually just use that up B to the platform quite a lot. <laughs> Nice. He even uses Patubi there specifically to try to also challenge the landing against Cart, but also it's just very active as well. I'm going to back out of shield to punish the minecart. Oh, I wasn't able to get the long sum out enough time. Go on Chazo to go for the grab to just immediately challenge that. Best Ness stalling the lining on the stage here using Patui, but unfortunately it's getting caught by the <laughs> pillars that Chazo has. Oh made. my god. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, now he's stuck inside the plot. Dude, Steve is not playing the same game as everyone else. Oh, that was a really good idea, but still was able to use his Legend of Invincibility to avoid getting uh, hit by the TNT. Oh, oh, then we get the easy diamond forward smash. Back oh, oh easy. <laughs> easy back air right before the stunning frames <laughs> of the car here. Best Ness keeping it even. Wow, nice use of the Pitui? I guess what it's called. The neutral B spike ball move. It's it's not like Gordo per se, but it's more act it's just as active, if not more active than Gordo. And it's really got some strong knockback. That if you're not ready for it, you'll take a lot of damage, but you also might lose stocks even on recovery. Much better than Gordo. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's a little better than Gordo, I personally, but... It doesn't get hit back. Yeah. That makes that, it that's, better that's, by default. That is very true. <laughs> it, it times better by default. Oh, going for the hard read. Almost dying to the diamond forward smash again. Oh man, the TNT set up at the ledge as well. Vestness kind of in a really rough spot. Okay, he's gonna jump over the TNT, but he has to watch the up smash. Definitely, definitely something scary that Steve can uh, pull under his sleeve right now. Ooh. Oh, in let me just run him over the, real yeah. quick. It's so yeah, let hard me just, to... Let me just run him over. He actually got the blind spot of the Fatui too, because like, there's like a slight area under plant where you won't get hit by it. Yeah. And Chazo taking game one here against Bestness. Like you said, he hit him in the blind spot. Really, really tough. Oh, but also the way that I was it charged minecart. I didn't. I looked away for like a cool second. If it was charged minecart, really hard to react to, especially because the ending animation of Patui is pretty pretty long. So it makes sense that either way, best nest guy hit it. Best nest though, probably going to the character side of the screen might bring out the nest. Who knows? But so far, he's got himself pretty far in the bracket using plant. But, uh, yeah, I was going to say, it makes sense for him to actually go to Ness. 
Yeah. As Asteroid says, see... enough sandbagging. Time to use a real character. Yeah. Um, Plant's not a terrible character and all, but it's definitely not best Ness's best character. Agreed, uh, agreed. And I've seen him... I've seen him lose one or two sets to Aaron Steve in like the first few weeks he was out. But then ever since then, I, I've i just seen him do super well in this matchup as Ness. So he definitely knows what he's Ooh. doing. That was ridiculous. Did he that also was, heal? Yeah, he also, he healed. also healed. He healed like, the explosion. That was so smart from Bestness, honestly. That damn. was such a worthy trade. He used the wind box to hit Steve with his own TNT and heal at the same time. Funny enough, Bestness actually was really interested in using Steve. Uh, Himself, but oh, what a smart oh, counterplay! I punish. I punish. But maybe the playstyle of Steve just doesn't fit how he likes to play the game. Yeah, I so, was gonna say, even it's... though he's like a big Minecraft fan and whatnot, he doesn't want to pursue the character. But either way, it's, I think the time that he spent learning how to play Steve helps him out a lot when he's fighting other Steve players. Uh, he yeah. knows what this. Uh, the Steve players are going for a lot of time. The best way to to beat a character you lose to is honestly to also try using the character yourself because you get to see all the strengths and weaknesses the character has and it will allow you to basically understand the counterplay to the character. Yeah. All right. Best test on the landing here. Able to use PK Fire and Thunder to make the landing. He's got a stock lead on Chazo and he knows that PK Fire, as soon as he hits, he was going to get a confirm but Chazo with the minecart able to break through. Oh. Minecart's doing so much to stop Best Ness, even the plant and even all the way to Ness itself. Alright, Best Ness looking for an aerial here, going all the way for that second jump. No grab, no punish, but he will nice. get the up smash since in Charles are retreating towards center stage after a roll. Yeah, really good call out for Best Ness. This, just seeing the difference in the play of the first match to this one is the confidence we're seeing from Bestness just so it's almost night and day in the matchup right now. Yeah. Double forward air, a third one here to corner carry Chazel all the way off stage. Bestness with two stocks, PK oh. fire. You know that's in there, and you know that Bestness is gonna hold the stage. Ooh, that oh, was scary. that was actually scary. I'm sorry. Chazel almost risked it all against that forward smash. Yeah, I can't believe he actually challenged that. <laughs> he almost just died. Right now, Chazo trying to get in on this nest, but this nest is moving way too well right now. Oh, what oh a... big up smash. Not yeah. going to be a kill, though. I do like the idea with the double blocks, though, just to force nest in the air. Mm. But let me get this easy up smash out of shield. Best Honestly... nest, dominant, dominant two stock, in my opinion. Honestly, it was worth it because Chazo had kind of cornered himself. You could see that the block was there, so he wasn't going to be able to get out of that situation. If he was going to do anything, he was going to jump, and then that would have definitely taken care of that with the way that Bestness has charged his smash attack. So that's not the Bestness, man. Putting up one on one on a board here and loses quarters. Hey, Ness players definitely mash, but best Ness's mashing is uh, pretty good. It's ca calculated, <laughs> it's very hard to punish. calculated mashing, ladies and gentlemen. Calculated yeah, mashing. Yeah. He mashes, but he mashes with purpose. Purpose being to make you hate playing Ness <laughs> against Ness. <laughs> Oh, okay. Nice combo for Chazo. Oh, and Chazo to go... almost with the anvil, too. Yeah, he tried to go super crazy off stage there. Definitely worth it. It's always worth it to uh, mess Ness up off stage since his recovery is so exploitable. Yeah. I think Steve also has a lot of ridiculous block things he can do to mess with Ness's recovery as well. But we haven't seen much of that so far. It's honestly the way that, that Bestness has been playing where he hasn't really been 
in particular situations that give Chazza the chance to set up those things. And best is just having a strong lead overall from the last game to this game. You haven't seen that kind of edge guarding from Chazo just yet here, but there's an opportunity for Chazo narrowly missing the mark on the forward air. Yeah, that's a really good match out of the cart from Bestness. Oh, oh double oh, forward air, a third off. attempt? Yep. Okay, okay. Chazo immediately up B's out of there. Doesn't want to be put in a situation where he's in the blast zone mm. versus Ness. But there's the forward smash. He actually hit him out of his PK rocket. Very brave man. <laughs> that timing on that, kind of crazy. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Chazo playing with some cojones there, but it will pay off for him. Takes a stock, oh, misses no. the forward smash. Not paying attention to the cross of Bestness will continue to up B over mm. and over because he knows that Chazo cannot punish it and will eventually just run directly into that. Nice stuff from Bestness. Looking so good right now. Big combo. Oh, okay. Gets, gets literally the stage control here. Wow. But unfortunately, wow. that is... That's destroyed? Yeah, that's destroyed. Yeah? I was, I was worried if I should say it, but yeah, that, that was... That was destruction. That was... Took, that all of, took all of his jumps, made him do some panic air dodges off the stage. Just uh, having... Yeah, it's pretty much taking all of his options yeah, to recover. And, and like, that was... Yeah, the range that Elytra has is is pretty solid, and you can still recover. It's just Chazo was a little bit too low, that if Chazo tried to angle it to recover a little higher or move his momentum, it was still going to be moving too low to even recover. So that was good stuff to best nest. Honestly, just taking a lot of control. And like you said, Strides, he used the PK Thunder to such a degree that Chazo literally lost the stock that way. <laughs> yeah. He died like at what, fifty percent or something? Yeah. Like, I don't know. That that up B is, is insane. I think they actually buffed it from like uh, Smash Four or something, and it was already insanely strong. There's a lot of characters in this game, strides. We thought we we're gonna be worse off, but they ended up being better. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I remember when we saw Ness's new up air. We were like, well, at least a lot of people were like, oh, what? This up air, it's not the crazy rockhead up air anymore. Yeah. I don't know if Ness good. I don't know if Ness good anymore, y'all. And then I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, yeah, wait a minute. Hold hey, on. Wait a minute. This, this character's up. actually crazy in this game. It was the same with Luigi. Like, damn, bro. Luigi lost his grab. Damn, bro. He's the worst character now, bro. He's got no sauce anymore. And that cyclone, man. The cyclone can't recover his crazy. cyclone. It's over. He's low tier. So many characters, bro. All right, well, I think so Game & Watch is the biggest example of that, actually. Yeah, I remember I'm... everyone saw the new Ford on Game & Watch. It's like, yep, characters low tier. <laughs> there were so many but, characters uh, we thought were low tier. just ended up being ridiculously good. Right now, man. Again, Chazo uh, trying his best to get something started against Vestness. But yeah, Vestness knows how to play around these traps of Steve. Even having the side magnet in the back pocket as well if you deal with the TNT just so good for him. Up B proving to be a huge bane in Chazos' game right now. Oh and we're gonna get the quick heal, the cinematic heal from Best Ness. Closing it out with the dash attack. To what a kill trade well. too. He had enough time to hit Chazo off the stage and go back for the heals. Oh, so this is funny. this is looking like a 3-1 for Bestness, man. And Chazo yet to find the answer. Forward at up smash, though. 100% on Bestness. Can Chazo seal the deal here and get the stock? We're living. Yeah, town and city, Great, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Town and city. All right. Bestness not blocking the minecart whatsoever. Chazo not caring at all. We will just continue to run over this child with this minecart. <laughs> And the and the armor as well helping him out. That TNT down smash setup just did a ridiculous amount of percent. Chazo actually has a good opportunity to just bring this game all the way back. My man is just mind carting his way to victory right now. Oh bro, Best that, is not blocking any of it. I was gonna say, bro, this mind card looking like it's going to the moon with the way he's been able to pull it through. <laughs> no back air, but uh -oh. that's for the forward throw. He's looking for the opportunity to get that aerial, but misses the mark here. Chazo is not going to hesitate to use that minecart to get around. 
Yeah, good on Vestas to still use PK Thunder to stop the landing. Or just force Charles all the way oh, on the platform. Later. And I was going to say, man, he broke his shovel, so his pickaxe as he lost the stock. Actually, he was mining so much that his pickaxe thing broke, and then he got punished. Oh, man. Rough stuff for Chazo right now. Almost Ooh. getting shield broken. I forgot that he has like, that ground bounce, like, auto cancel on his up B, so he can do another one immediately after. Oh, nice. When oh. you come back on the stage, all the aerials in the world here, no down tilt. To stop the recovery, Bassnas looking to still fight as hard as possible. PK Thunder just only moving off of Chazo. All right, Chazo lighting back air. There's diamond weapons in play here, so if Bessus is not careful, that's going to be game for Chazo. And Chazo will put game five on the board. We'll see if Bessus can stop it. No Ooh. back air after the parry. Yeah, he had the down smash ready. <laughs> Bessness actually Be playing around the blocks so well. Did you see that? Ness is actually short enough to go through the block height there. <laughs> That's crazy. No back air? Okay. Oh man. No, yeah, the block. yeah, he was scared. The block stopped him from moving. Chalo just wants this one chance to get this stock, but man, Bessness is not making it easy whatsoever. Up throw is not enough at that percent. That was good though. He wanted a DI mix up against Best Ness. He knows where he was holding that DI for sure. Oh no! Oh, just runs him over with that minecart, man. I couldn't tell if he had the gold tracks there, but he just he just went for it. Yeah, he just went for it, man. That minecart is going to the moon, and Chazo punches in game five opportunity. Indeed, Best Ness. Wow. Yo. Very impressive for Chazo. He was getting obliterated, especially the game before this one. Yeah, that one stock where he literally just hit Best Nest with everything, <laughs> he, he actually brought it all the way back. Crazy, crazy stuff strides, but nonetheless here, just coming back to game five, the final opportunity here for Chazo to continue his winner's run and the same goes, sorry, loser's run, on the same goes to Best Nest indeed. You know what I think? Um, I think he's also using the, uh, the the faster, more armored minecart as well, so that Bestness can't just hit him out of it as easily or react to it as well because it just yeah, comes yeah, so yeah. fast. The charge, yeah. the charge minecart. You only get it if you get gold ingot and redstone, and it's and it's got armor on the starting frame. So you got to be really careful when you're challenging it. And like you said, strides. If Charles is using that to stop Bestness before he gets aerials, that's such a good counterplay. Oh, like right there, he didn't, he just tanked the forward air from Ness and just, you know, got a good little combo of his own. We're probably going to see a lot of that from Chazo. Oh, bad air dodge though. Best Ness is trying his best to turn that into a really disgusting edge guard. He's got to watch it. He, his offstage play and disadvantage versus Ness has been really, really exploitable for, uh, for Best Ness. He's got to really be careful in that spot. Nice back air though to hit him out the cart again. Oh, great recovery with the Elytra there. Smooth off oh, right, but... air dodging into the PK flash. Bestness getting the max charge on that move as well. Stealing that first stock, only taking 33%. Chazo going to need another uh, really strong stock like he had in the previous game. He wants to bring this yeah. one back. And I feel like the momentum is firmly in Bestness's favor right now. I will see Chazo oh. looking to shut that down immediately with the forward into the forward smash. All right, Charles is doing an excellent job. He's always constantly mining towards tools, but he's using the ability of Elytra to recover pretty well so far. <laughs> so smart from business. Just down tilt the block and then get the PK fire out. Yeah. It's like yeah. you said, Strides. He, Bestness actually using this character pays off so far in this matchup. Even though it's game five, you can tell Bestness has the matchup on lock. And it comes from him actually trying to learn the character. Yep. Uh, trying to use that extended hitbox from the crafting table. Oh, wow, great catch from Chazo there. Actually, he's playing so patiently to find the opening on the backer. Okay, finally evening up the stocks, but... but oh, no, but not instead, like this. We are going to air dodge off stage and SD, giving Bestness a chance to get an easy 50-60% string. 
if Chazo is able to bring this back, he is he is a mad an incredible man. player. Yeah. Yes, but the best this man, he, he's just he just needs one chance. Like he's so close to just taking this last stock already. Can you heal off of this? I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm I'm sorry. I think Chazo's chances of winning are just over. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I know this is commentator bias, but dang, bro! Like he just went up there, got free heals, and at this point, Chazo is in such a deficit. Another TNT setup like that, and that'll give Bestness all the things he's looking for. Charge minecart though, not enough, but Chazo takes center stage, and that's good for what he's looking for. He's looking for more materials. Yeah. And like you said, Strikes, he's looking for that charge minecart consistently to stop Bestness in his oh. tracks, like so. Okay, we're living though, man. Good guy from Bestness. Running low on materials too, though, because he's constantly trying to use that minecart to approach. Mm -hmm. But he knows he has to keep oh. mining for it. It'll stop Bestness in the tracks using that Elytra to swoop all the way down. This okay. Yeah, Bestness is waiting for the minecart at this point. Uh... Oh. That was, yeah, the height from Elytra was not enough. Remember, it only has a certain threshold of height. And that'll be it for Best Nest, moving up three twos. Kind of rough to go out in um, game five like that, not going to lie, with uh, two pre-